Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing okay. Um, it's been another weird week. Um, I think we're all used to weird weeks on this channel. Um, I know that many of you also frequently live through weird weeks. Um, I didn't film on Monday because I was so busy or like I was working so hard on trying to finish my Halloween project that I just didn't film. Like I was so in the zone <laughs> um, that I just didn't think about filming and I didn't. Um, yesterday was okay, did a lot of work yesterday. The Halloween project is almost, almost finished. Um, I'm actually going to start ordering the products today, which is really exciting, um, but I'm also stressed about it. Um, but it, it's been weird, so I'm going to sit and chat to you for a bit and catch you up um, so that hopefully there actually is a video this week, <laughs> because right now it's looking a little thin on the ground for a Wednesday. Um, I got this little... So in last week's video, you might remember that at the end of the video, I mentioned that I was considering buying like a Scream doll, like a ghost face doll from Scream. In the end, I didn't do that because I couldn't choose between the two options. One of them was like bigger and floppy and kind of like a doll and I think the design was nicer. And then the other one was smaller and slightly more poseable, but not really. And it was like a whole thing that made no sense. <laughs> um, I was just on a weird spiral. Um, over the weekend, I did more research and I decided in the end that I wanted something more poseable so that I can take goofy photos of him in the style of like a quarantine Kermie um, if I wanted to just just for giggles um, and I ended up choosing this little Sam like from Trick or Treat doll if you haven't seen Trick or Treat this is the film card that came in the box um, it's a really cool like cult classic horror movie from the early 2000s it's really hard to watch in the UK like it doesn't stream anywhere but we found a copy and I really like it um, it's just like proper goofy and it all takes place on Halloween so it's very atmospheric and it's it's cool. Anyway, this little guy is like the defender, the enforcer of the rules of Halloween um, and he appears throughout the film um, and he's super spooky and very cool and I decided I would get a Sam doll. Um, I'm well aware that this is probably content that is too niche <laughs> for most of my viewers um, but I'm really happy with him and I hope you don't mind me talking about him. Um, I never want to be like censoring my interests, I guess, just because I think they're too niche. Um, you all know you're subscribed to an autistic creator, so this is this week's weird fixation. Um, I'm really happy with him. He's super bendy. You can see he bends at the elbow. The articulation points are like, they're a bit stiff. Um, I bought him secondhand on eBay, but he'd never been opened. He is still in manufacture, but I always just think it's good to buy secondhand where you can. Um, to think he was just sitting dusty on someone's shelf, but now he's gonna have a whole life. <laughs> um, so he has really good articulation points, his hands bend in different directions as well. And his elbows, obviously, that one was really stiff, I'll fix that one later. Um, underneath the hood, he has his iconic, like, scary pumpkin skull face from the film. I don't want to take the hood off right now and show you because apparently once you take it off it kind of loses its shape and it's like impossible to get it back into the correct shape so I think I might just leave it on <laughs> for as long as I can but I've seen the sculpting online and it's literally like it's chef's kiss um, he can hold the lollipop so I'll do that um, oh it fit in really well I thought it was going to be more of a squeeze but it went right in there um, he holds his little lollipop from the film he also has his sack um, he can't hold that as well, you can sort of balance it with him, um, and I might put some like fluffy cotton in there I guess to bulk it up a bit, but it's cute. Um, it's nice because he's wearing his little onesie pyjamas, but he has hard feet so he does stand, like by himself, if I can balance him. Um, and he also bends in the knees so he can sit and stuff and he can move his head around, although the sack is inhibiting it a little bit. Um, yeah, sorry, this is super niche content, but basically I got this little Sam from Halloween doll and I'm so happy with him. Um, literally just gonna be the cutest and creepiest little desk companion. Gonna take him places and take stupid photos of him. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know, man. I just, I'm happy with him. Um, in terms of books, let's put him over here. In terms of books, this week I'm reading the third book in that really silly pulpy vampire series. Um, someone told me in the comments that the author's from Florida, which I feel makes a lot of sense actually. Like, 
I don't have anything more to say on that, I just think that makes sense. Um, you're right, the commenter, in that the British stuff is quite sort of cliche and off the mark. Um, but it's still a fun read. They are really goofy, like it's mostly just action and then it resolves and it's fun. They're very easy reads and they do feel spooky for the season. Um, I still probably wouldn't really recommend them unless you already read a lot of pulpy novels because it's just a pulpy novel. I will say that the covers get worse and worse because the first book was okay. Um, the second book looked like this, which was still <laughs> terrible, but not too bad. But then the third one is just bad. Like, the first one's on the bookshelf, so I can't reach it. But I thought that it was cringy but okay. <laughs> and then the second one was alright, but the third one is just bad. Um, I hate this. I literally, like, don't look at it. Um, I'm still reading them. I think they're really silly, but I'm having a good time, so... Um, this week I'm also gonna start reading this. It's called On Agoraphobia by Graham Cuvini. Um, uh, I don't have a lot to say about it. <laughs> um, I bought this in Waterstones kind of impulsively the other day because I was burning time before my nail appointment and it looked really good and I do toe the line <laughs> of agor agoraphobia. Um, I don't really know how to elaborate on it. I just, the, the more time I spend inside, the harder I find it to go back out. And I have a lot of anxiety when I'm out. Um, it's not so bad when I'm out with other people, but if I'm by myself, I, I struggle with it quite a lot, actually. Um, anyway, so I'm, I'm interested in reading about um, agoraphobia. It's a really interesting style of book. Um, it's not like a novel or a strictly, like a text or science based. It's just like a you know, an exploration of someone's feelings with their experiences, right? Like, it's that kind of book, um, and I like that a lot, so I was sort of skimming it in the shop, and I thought that it, it sounded really nice, and a lot of it that I had skimmed really resonated, so I thought that I would give the whole thing a read. Um, so it was an impulse buy, and I can't review it yet, but I'm really looking forward to working through it, um, and I hope maybe it will be a cathartic read. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not sure how to explain, but I do... I do have weird a weird relationship with agoraphobia or something that sits like alongside agoraphobia, I guess. Um, as I think a lot of autistic people probably do. Um, I don't imagine that it's a rare um, comorbid. <laughs> um, so I'll let you know how that goes. I'm hoping to read it this week. Um, I think I'm going to finish my bad pulpy vampire novel probably in the next couple of days. Um, so I'll read on agoraphobia while I wait for the fourth pulpy vampire novel to arrive in the post. Um, apart from that, not a lot happening this week. Um, in the notebook, things are fine. The Hobonichi orders, my Hobonichi orders, I think, are going to come this week, actually. So I'll make a separate video with an unboxing. Um, I ordered from Hobonichi directly and I also ordered from a UK-based stockist. So what I'll do is wait for them both to arrive and then do an unboxing video. And then you can see it all at once because I think somehow they're actually going to arrive at similar times. <laughs> um, so that's what's going on. I will show you some of the Halloween stuff, I guess, maybe in this video. Or maybe I'll wait till the paper stuff arrives. Um, but I'm going to order it all today, hopefully. Um, I'm really happy with it. Um, yeah, I won't say any more. Maybe what I'll do is print some of it out and show it to you and then explain what I ended up doing this week. Um, but yeah, not a lot happening really it's been a strange week um i will say my mental health is kind of in the gutter this week so maybe that's enough said <laughs> it's just like i'm just struggling a bit um just some notes here to update you on for anyone who's interested in seeing the regular updates from my notebook it's just some um, some notes um yeah some weeks are weird and you just have to buy a retro style multiple articulated Sam Figurine from the obscure cult classic Trick or Treat.
Hi again. Um, I thought I would do another little talk for Friday um, because for the middle of the week all I really did was run errands um, and that probably kind of sucks for those of you that aren't here for that. Um, I found some okay Halloween stuff in B&M today um, and I found some better stuff in TK Maxx again yesterday. Um, nothing super interesting. There's um, Halloween stuff in Flying Tiger now which is cool. Um, when I went, they were still putting it out. I think they probably started that morning, so there was some stuff, but it wasn't everything. Um, last year, Tiger didn't really have that much cool stuff, so I'm hoping this year might be a bit better. It looks like it might be. Um, but yeah. <laughs> um, so on a special interest front, I'm thriving. Um, mentally, I'm still a bit... Mm, um, obviously, I didn't expect a miracle to take place in two days, but... I'm still a bit foggy. Um, so I did order most of the Halloween stuff this week for my Halloween project. Um, I'm just working on the last two pages for the zine now. You might have seen on Instagram I said that I was a couple of pages short and then I said that actually I wasn't a couple of pages short because I miscounted. Turns out I counted right the first time and wrong the second time and I am actually two pages short. Um, literally math just kicking my ass all the time. <laughs> um, so I'm doing the last two pages and what I'm doing for it is just like a what's in your parcel kind of couple of pages because I didn't want to have to do two whole new pages of, I don't know, I didn't want to have to think of something. <laughs> um, I'm a bit wiped at this point. So I thought this might be cute and then people will know what the, which bit is which and stuff. Um, so I've been drawing out the different bits in the parcel and it'll be across a double page spread so it's two pages. Um, so I figured I would show you this while they finish working on it and then I would also tell you what is actually in the project <laughs> um, and then next week hopefully I can show you a lot of what's in the project. Um, so everything looks a bit funny colour wise because I was fixing some of it for printing but basically the final product count for the project is the enamel pins and I got these little brown envelopes for them. Where did I put them? Oh no I put them in the drawer I can't show you. Um, and I got these little brown envelopes for them so that's cute. Um, so it's the enamel pins, and then there's a, an A5 square art print um, of, like a, of like a Halloween party. <laughs> um, there's the invitation slash postcard, which is where you're assigned your spirit for the evening, and then on the back there's an invitation. Um, the mini zine, which is about 28 or 30 pages. Um, there's concertina haunted house scene, which I've been working on this and last week. Um, which has like ghosts and like back like there's rooms in the background and then in the rooms there's like clues to how the spirit died and each page is a spirit and then it matches one of the spirits from the the rest of the zine from the spirit society um so I think it's kind of cool <laughs> I hope um on the back of the concertina zine there's a story that goes with each image so you can hopefully work out who's who and stuff um, I'm hoping it's cool. I'm a bit worried that I just think it's cool and it's not actually, um, but that's life, I guess. I made a little bookmark slash like a business card for it as well that will go on the front of the envelope um, and it looks like a library card. And then there's going to be, I think, two sheets of stickers. So that's what's shown there. Um, so I think, if I haven't forgotten anything, <laughs> um, that's what's going to be in the Halloween parcels. Um, and I'll list them hopefully on my shop next week as well. I think it's going to cost like around £20. I've been trying to work out how much it's costed me to make it. Costed definitely isn't a word, <laughs> but I'm try I've been trying to work out um, how much, how did I do this? Um, how much it's cost me to print and to buy the packaging supplies and everything. Um, and I want it to be affordable, but obviously I also need to cover my costs. So it's like a whole thing. <laughs> um, but I think it's going to be around £20. Um, so hopefully you feel it's worth it. Um, I made it with the intention of keeping it mostly flat so that I can mail it in envelopes because if I had to do it in boxes then um, the shipping would have to go up. Um, and at the moment the UK is like rinsing for shipping, it's ridiculous, like it's so expensive. Um, I think that's probably the case everywhere but it's very annoying. Um, so it's mostly flat, the only thing that's not flat is the pin and what I'll do is put those in upside down so the flat side is touching the prints and stuff and that should hopefully help. I have also bought some backing board though to go in the envelope to hopefully keep everything very straight. Um, so here's hoping. <laughs> um, 
So that's what it's looking like at the moment. I'm really proud of the zine, I think. It's like a number of pages and there are some really cute illustrations. And I made a mixtape. I'm really proud of myself. I made a recipe for some cinnamon cupcakes. I'm gonna test the recipe tomorrow, but I think it's good. Um, there are some illustrations like this throughout. Um, I made movie lists with references to all the characters and then I made a mixtape. Um, and I think it's the first playlist I've ever made where like all the songs actually go together and stuff. So I'm quite proud of it. <laughs> um, I hope you'll like it. I thought on Spotify you could do a thing where you could share it with a QR code, but I can't seem to find that at all now. So I'm not sure how I did that before or if I just imagined that was a thing. Um, and you don't even have a username on Spotify. So I literally, I don't know how best to share the playlist, but it exists. Um, I'll put the link in the description for this video and you can listen if you want. Um, but yeah. So hopefully it's cute. Um, I'm really hoping you're all gonna like it because I've been working on it for so long now <laughs> that I'm like, oh, I'm just scared to share it now. Like, what if this whole thing was just me being silly by myself and it's a bit like a fever dream and then like it's, I don't know. This is the haunted house concertina. So there's all the different, can you not zoom in? No. Um, all the different ghosts. Um, and I thought that it would make like a good print, I guess afterwards um because it'll open up yeah okay so that's where we're at with the halloween project i know it's been a bit hazy i've just been showing you really small bits but hopefully that makes some kind of sense and now you have like a slightly better idea of what's going on um i had wanted to make some other stuff for it originally but it didn't work out for a number of reasons um i wanted to make some foiled products originally and i've never done that before but then i had to change manufacturer and they don't do foiled products and it's a whole thing um, and it would have been really expensive anyway, so I think it's probably better this way. Um, but yeah, that's what's going on. I'm going to work on these last two pages and I'm going to order the zine tonight. And then all I have left to do is the sticker sheets. I've done the first sticker sheet, but I'm still working on the second one. Um, so if you have any ideas for what you want on the second sticker sheet, then this is your last chance to tell me. <laughs> um, because I haven't started the second sheet yet. I don't think the turnaround should be too long on them though, so hopefully everything will be shipping out in like the first week of October or maybe even the last week of December if I'm lucky. Um, it's been a pretty big project, so I am now a bit worried about timings, but I think given everything I put together, I think it's been okay. <laughs> um, I don't know if I was ever going to get it done quicker, especially while I was also doing client work at the same time for like most of it. Um, I was working on this in the evenings and stuff, so... I need to do a final proofread because I have no idea if any of this makes any sense. <laughs> um, but yeah, I hope it looks cool. I'm really excited to share it with you. Um, please buy it so I didn't waste my time. <laughs> um, oh, also I think based on the feedback of last week's video, I will make a what's in my bag video and I will also make like an autistic style Q&A. Oh, I don't know why I said autistic style like an autism themed Q&A so you, you can ask me questions about being autistic and I'll answer them so if you have questions about autism or about my experiences with being autistic um, please put them in the comments so I can answer them um, I'll just work on them over time <laughs> um, I won't say when they'll come out because I need to finish this stuff and then I have some other stuff going on um, but they'll happen I'll make them um, I might wait for my new Hobonichi stuff to come in the post and then I might do the bag one first because I kind of want to try using the the purse thing i don't know i'll show you when it comes um but yeah definitely losing the plot now today um it's been a, a long weird week with not really that much to show <laughs> um but i hope you're all doing okay um please ask me questions about autism and being autistic um and please tell me if there's any halloween stickers you want to see um but otherwise i hope you enjoy the rest of the video um and i will see you next week